Hey guys, Natasha with Natasha Scrapbook Corner. Let's see. <laughs> DiGiorno, cheese stuff crust, supreme pizza. Mm -mm -mm. Yum, yum, yum. Hmm. Weird. After eating some pizza, I want something sweet. Hmm. What can I have? From pizza to maybe cake. Ta da! Yes, guys, I didn't lost my marbles. Not again. Um, this cake is created from the chipboard used from DiGiorno pizza. So um, this is kind of recycling project and look how pretty oh hmm let me cut a slice oh it is a cushioning oh so it's not just a cake it's a pin cushion pick pin cushion here pin cushion there pin cushion here again wow what a wonderful cake and we have some drawers which I cannot open with one hand okay never mind oh my gosh look at the details oh, I recognize from men's novel paper wow what a wonderful cake very yummy I'm sure there are some yummy goodies in there sneak peek sneak peek no cannot it is a gift it is a birthday cake it is a birthday cake for someone very special so wow let's see the next layer Ooh, ah look at this yummy pin Ooh, how cute is that and there is another one. Oh, wow. And there is some more. Yum, yum. And more. Yum, yum. Oh, my, my. Let's see. Oh, I got a butterfly. Yum, 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 yum. Okay, guys. Yes, this is Romance Novel Cake that I created for my sweet friend Gisela for her birthday. And what a girl without the birthday cake. And because we all watching our wait, I couldn't send her the whole cake. So, I created for her a cake for all those pink cushions that all you lovely ladies sent her so she could have a display cake for all our stick pin cushion stick pins that we are sending to her so yes and I used the chipboard uh, from some boxes that I have been saving and uh, um, let's see um, on the bottom you have four drawers and they're really tight so um sweetie you're gonna need to work it or maybe um wrap them in something in the paper but i i just painted them and uh, unfortunately it didn't really work out so i put some uh rhinestone uh trim and some black trim on top uh, and rhinestone trim on top and on the bottom that's the first layer I did some um, masking technique and I used some of the roses uh, some of the uh, Prima roses recollection in from my store and on this drawer I used the Tim Holtz um, I use actually Tim Holtz um, elements in here for the um, door openers, doorknobs. So this is just the pin, the um, 
next one is one of those Tim Holtz um, drawers openers and uh, this one one of uh, his charms I do believe that's his or maybe not I'm not sure now so and um, um, the roses I put on the seams um, that they cover in the seams because it's uh, quite a large radius uh, more than 24 inches so two 12 by 12 pieces of paper didn't do the justice on covering that um, layer and I did some uh, brick mass technique and distress it a little bit and painted whitewash it and the uh, splatter of uh, roses in there and there is another drawer with the same um, Tim Holtz uh, um, holder, handle, <laughs> whichever you want to call. Um, on the layer for the pin uh, cushion itself, I used some material and I covered it with uh, the rosette, a uh, dusty rosette trim from my store. Um, and uh, for the decoration purpose, I uh, created some. Uh, pins for her so she would understand that's a pin cushion not just <laughs> just some cake the second layer used another paper from the romance novel and I put all the way around um, recollections roses which I uh, whitewashed with the dis Tim Holtz distressed uh, picket fence and I used the one of the chains and it was per silver uh, so I used some alcohol inks on that chain and uh, this chain is drip, draping um, along the around the whole second layer and on the seams for the second layer I used a different color of the brick uh, mask with the um, texture paste as you hear as you see here and I was trying to match the paper that black um, distress look in that paper but it, it's not really black it's brown so that's why I was trying to mix the colors with the paste using different paints and stuff uh, to create that color and uh, create the rustic um, look so you see here clearly uh, not the best job with the painting but um, unfortunately that's all I can do and um, on the top I used the uh, Chinese braid and uh, one of the uh, pearl trims that I have from my stash the uh, pincushion for the second layer is done with uh, my um, this is the rosette trim from my store really close to Gisela's trims so um, really pretty very tight rosette came out really nice and uh, to um, brighten it for sure you need a pink cushion so I'm um, sorry stick pin uh, light color so I used the butterfly and some pearls and stuff to uh, stick in that layer and the last layer was uh, done with the uh, again one of the other Prima um, romance novel papers and I put the layer of the lace the same that I used on the bottom to bring it all together and the pearl trim that I used on the second layer so it all will fall in together and on the top I got this gorgeous rose from uh, this uh, first layer so this rose that's how it looks if you will fluff it at all so it's gorgeous so um, yes this is wonderful wonderful birthday gift for my uh, sweet um, friend uh, Gisela I hope she's gonna enjoy this sweet cake and it will always remind her of our friendship and um, stay tuned for the tutorial yes I did record it, the process of creating this particular project so I will be gladly share it with you in uh, several videos so just stay tuned uh, and check my channel once in a while 
okay uh thanks guys for watching leave me a comment as you wish and uh uh sweet um gisella uh happy birthday again and i hope you like all my gifts love you bye